Ball snap back. Magentini in there. He's going to run over the right side. Flag on the play, though. Weaved his way, and the ball, or I don't know if it came out or it was this going, but there's a flag, so we'll stop. Did get yardage out to the 46. It was a gain of about five. The They're going to put the... Uh, Braxton Marsh hit the tackle. That'll stop the clock. Most Holy likely got to be a Valley. hold, I think, and it is. So they march him back. Official He's right really on there. torture me. Shows up again with two more of them. <laughs> I'm looking for you to take off the headset and just attack. No. See, I don't want to mess with the guy. You mess with the guy's food. That's some trouble starts. He's a lot younger than me, and I guarantee he's quicker than me. So 320 remaining here in this one. 28-6 the score with the Redback Valley in control here. Ball backed up. To the 26-yard line after that penalty. Second down here in about 20. You know, good move here, having Magentini in the ball game. On the stop. Ball continues to move. Bain doing a nice job. Takes his, or excuse me, Magentini takes his time now. Still eight on the play clock. He'll... The snap with about two or three seconds. Hands it back off. Shrek and Gost over the right side. Gets up near the 40-yard line. Picks up about three yards. I'll give him 76 in the ball game so far. So we take a look at that Zark Motor scoreboard again. It is Kerwinsville 43, Machina Valley 20. Got a final here, Clearfield 47, Belfont 14. Another final Central Clarion, a winner 21 to 10 over Dubois. St. Mary's a winner 43 to 19 over Kane. Punksy, Mike, your Chuck's a winner 42 to 13 over Monta. Minnick punting. Randy back deep. High kick. And Comes up and, oh, that was not Randy. That was actually Fleming play. coming up and. Red Bank, yeah. he didn't get a chance to field that ball. He was nailed, and he's hurt on the play. Yeah, that's what And that we, uh, there's a penalty flag, too, so of course. Yeah, no question. Contact was made. So 130 on the clock here with this stoppage. As we review the other finals on the Zocker Motor scoreboard, County 6, Smithport 0, Brockway 39, Bucktail 0. And Keystone winner 48 to 20 over Elk County Catholic. And as of right now, with a 28 6 score, minute 30 to go here, Keystone will be uh, the, the uh, division champ. We're going to take a timeout here. We're going to break. We're going to come back. Minute 30 to go here in this one. Red Bank up 28 6. You're watching Carly Tower High School Football and Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Beverage Air, a leading manufacturer of refrigeration equipment for over 75 years, is currently hiring for immediate openings in our Brookville facility. For more information or to apply, visit beverageair.com forward slash careers. can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. So we're coming right back to live action. Trey Fleming able to come off the field under his own power. It was good to see shaken up on the play. Penalty is assessed here against Red Bank Valley. That'll put the ball up at about the 47-yard line. You know, obviously this is a, a pride drive here. You want to build upon next week. Your season's far from over. Yeah. Playoffs will be coming up next week. There's another week of football. Then uh, playoffs are on the way. All snap back. Hand it off. Chrisman back in there at quarterback again, of course, with Fleming on the sideline and getting the run that time. I believe it was, was that card. Card, okay. 
Didn't see him, but okay. Actually, no, no, it was not Carton. I stand corrected. Looked like a, was that, look at 42, I believe, but I don't have that down here on the roster. Yeah, that's who it would be. Second down, hand it off again. And the same runner takes it down to the 45-yard line, picks up four. So it's a third down and two. And do apologize, we do not have him on our roster. Ferostick. Okay, we have his Andrew Ferostick. Okay. So we have that number change. We do apologize, but it happens. 24 seconds. This will probably be the last play. Chrisman will drop back into a pistol setup. Camper will be right behind him. He'll take the snap, pitches that back to Camper. Camper's going to be hit. Camper leans forward. He's not going to get the first down. The clock will go down. That will be the last play, and Red Bank Valley is going to win this one by this final score of 28-6. to six. And we'll take the time out. We're going to come back. The Fun Bank postgame show is on the way. You're watching Carly Tire High School football right here on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Edge certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. football field as we go to the first United National Bank postgame show. If you haven't seen Mike, there he is holding that t-shirt, getting ready to name our Hager Paving player of the ball game down there. But uh, Bob, we're in the first United National Bank postgame show. 28-6, uh, the final score is Red Bank Valley knocks off Union AC Valley. And uh, where do the stats land here for the Laurel Eye Clinic? Well, Red Bank Valley, Mike finishes with 157 yards of total offense, 45 on the ground, 112 through the air. On the ground, leading the way, it was Ray Schreckengoss. Schreckengoss checks in with 76 yards. Five yards out of eight Norts. Joe Mansfield, one attempt, no yards. Guardlock checks in, one attempt for one yard. But Bain sacked multiple times, minus 37. So that's a net of 45. 112 yards through the air. Bryson Bain would be eight of 23 with the one touchdown. 112 yards hauling in receptions. Chris Marshall, 68 yards, 44 yards out of Marquise Gardlock and Tate Minnick. One reception, no yards gained, however, but again, 157 yards total offense. As we look at Union AC Valley, on the ground, no particular order here. It was Dawson Camper checking in 15 yards, 21 yards out of Mikey Card. Bailey Crisman, minus two. And Andrew Verostic checks in for a total of seven yards. Landon Chalmers recovered a fumble, unfortunately tackled behind the line for minus one. Peter Hardy, the same story, 
uh, those two guys linemen, but still, again, they recovered the team's fumble, did get tackled for a yard loss. Caden Rainey, eight yards in the ball game. Fleming sacked once, minus seven yards. It was a tough night in the through the air for Bailey Crispin as he was four of 16, did have four interceptions, but still managed 63 yards on the night. Hauling in receptions, Ryan Cooper checks in 48 yards, 12 yards out of Skyler Roxbury and three out of Caden Rainey again. 63 yards through the air, total of 103 for Union AC Valley. All right, again, stats brought to you by the Laurel Eye Clinic as we continue on uh, the uh, – Plays from that uh, third and fourth quarter, the scoring plays brought to you by Gatesman's Auto Body. At the 8.07 mark of the third, it was Card, the 15-yard fumble recovery. Uh, he went uh, for the touchdown. It was a pitch, actually. The two-point conversion was no good. 8-6 was the score there as uh, Red Bank held on to that two-point lead. But then it was all Red Bank Valley at the 6.18 mark. Guard lock took the pass from Bain. Uh, the Adams kick was good. It was 15-6. And then in the fourth quarter, it was at the 9.01 mark, Orts would intercept the pass and go 71 yards for the touchdowns. The Adams kick was good, 22-6, Red Bank Valley, and they would cap off the scoring at the 5.08 mark in the fourth quarter. Schrecken got the one-yard touchdown run. The extra point was no good, 28-6, Red Bank Valley. And those, again, those a scores brought to you by Gatesman's Auto Body. Bob, it's time now for the Hager Paving Player of the Game. Who do you like? Well, there were multiple players who really could have qualified for this, but Tonight we have elected to give it to Ashton Kale. Ashton Kale, three interceptions in the ball game, made some huge tackles out there as well. Always, of course, a key contributor on special teams play as well. So, Ashton Kale is your Hager paving player of the ball game. All right, and again, you want to check out tomorrow D Night Sports.com as well as uh, Explore Clary and Mike Kilroy. We'll have a great recap of this ball game. I uh, will also have that Hager paving player of the game. All of that great stuff. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, good win here tonight. Defensive struggle early. Red Bank pulls away late to win. Keystone, though, is that uh, KSAC uh, small school south uh, division champion uh, by win, uh, by way of Red Bank's victory here tonight. But all these teams, another week next week, we're back into the playoffs uh, as they will roll around here in a couple of weeks. It's going to get interesting. Still a lot of football to go. Yeah, I do really want to once again thank uh, Jamie Seifert as well as Scott Kendall for their work uh, taking care of us over here at Union High School. I want to thank our Tyler, or excuse me, our cameraman, Tyler Oaks, our producer, Dustin Kiefer, my broadcast partner, Mike Kalinowski. This is Governor Bob Dunkel saying, hey, let's be careful out there.